When I watched the first episode of this anime, I remember thinking, this is gonna be wholesome. Yeah, that did age well. Hola. I really plan on talking more about horror and psychological stuff during the summer. That's just kind of how I roll. But before that, I'd just like to say a few words about Higyo Suru, so stit joshko seo hiro. I'll be a little critical of this, but please don't take this as me judging anybody who likes this. You're not wrong for liking it, obviously. These are just my personal opinions. Please also note that this is a video about the anime only and intended for the people who've already seen it so yes there will be spoilers. The first thing I'd like to say is that I try not to pass any moral judgment when it comes to art. Of course it all depends on the context but usually I'm not easily shocked or disgusted. I mean my favorite manga are full of terrible things. Like <laughs> Anything bad that can happen, happens. There's also a whole debate on this, which I don't want to get into, so this is an opinion piece, really. So let's start with the obvious. Their whole arrangement and the age gap. In fiction, I think that romance can take on many forms. I'm an adult, so I know what's realistic and what isn't, and I know what's appropriate and what isn't. So I can enjoy a lot of things in fiction that I wouldn't tolerate in real life. And I believe you can enjoy inappropriate things as long as you know better. That being said, younger or more inexperienced viewers might not be thinking that. I've been watching a lot of video essays about a cursed show called Pretty Little Liars and in this show there's a romantic teacher-student relationship and it's really not handled very well and the amount of people that commented stuff like Oh, you know, when I saw this when I was like very young, like a very young teenager, I thought that it was great and romantic, blah, blah, blah. And you know, they think that because the show makes it seem like they're soulmates, so that's why it's okay. Higehiro does something similar, except that Yoshida isn't a teacher, which I guess makes it a little better. However, he's not my most favorite character I've ever seen. And here's why. First of all, He's this total nothing guy, yet three women are in love with him for some reason. He isn't very nice or warm or in any way charming when he interacts with people. But he's also not, you know, cool and mysterious and cold, you know? Which, as a viewer, makes it really hard for me to understand what's so great about him. But this is where a lot of people will say, but he's such a good and honest guy. To which I say, is he though? Let me ask you this. If Sayu had been a boy, do you think he would have picked him up and helped him sort out his life? Of course not. He would have either called the police or just ignored him. He even admitted that he just found her cute and that's it. From the beginning, he did have these thoughts. And Sayu is very sexualized in the anime. It makes it feel as if they were saying, but look at this hot girl, like who wouldn't have thoughts like that? <laughs> when really this shouldn't be in anyone's head, especially when they're not even a teen themselves. I'm by no means prude. Like you guys know what kind of stuff I talk about on here. But in this very context, it just made me roll my eyes. What I also personally found disgusting was that Sayu even was like, oh yeah, maybe if I had a dad like you, then my life would have been better. <laughs> and yet, she wants to sleep with him and that shit ain't cute. And Yoshida is 26, so 10 years older, so no, he couldn't be her dad. But that doesn't change the fact that in your 20s, you're in a completely different space, emotionally and just in general. If I had 19 year olds coming up to me now, I could never see them as anything other than kids. Not that I'm not taking 19 year olds seriously, but you know, in that sense, in a romantic way, like that's just, I, I couldn't. An 11 year age gap doesn't matter as much the older you get, I feel like. Like if you're 35 and the other person is 46, I mean, it's still a pretty big gap, but you know, it's not super crazy to want the same things at 35 and 46, you know what I mean? But as long as you're a teen, just nah. This also makes me wonder, 
why didn't he start dating his boss after she confessed to him when he's been in love with her all this time? His Kohai is also clearly in love with him and yet he never tells her that she doesn't stand a chance. He also repeatedly states that he's into older women and since he never touches Sayu, many take this as proof that he's genuinely good. But just because you don't do it, it doesn't mean that you're not thinking about it. Everybody around him just assumes as much and even her brother is like, oh, <laughs> you're in love with my little sister, right? <laughs> If my teenage sister told me that she was living with a 26 year old, yeah, you can touch her. He'd be dead afterwards. I understand that running around from your problems and being found by a genuinely good guy can be appealing to many teenagers. But my problem with this is that he's not as good, in my opinion, as he's being portrayed. Again, this is fiction and I enjoy way worse things than this. And I hope it's clear that this is not my problem. The show also tackles some social issues like Sayu's sexual favors in exchange for shelter and so on. And schoolgirls doing stuff like that is not uncommon. But it sells this romantic fantasy of being saved by a stranger. Same with suicide, it's just... They could have gone deeper into this. But instead, it's about how a guy can save a girl from all her problems by being so nice that he won't even sleep with her. To be fair, Sayu isn't great either. Aside from all the pain she went through, she's a really boring character. I don't know her personality at all, which is tragic since she's a main character. She's portrayed as this almost out of world being. She doesn't even know any songs like normal people. I get that she wasn't allowed to do a lot, but bitch, you still live in Japan and you have internet. Also, what the hell did she talk to her friend about? You can't tell me that they never talked about music, right? <laughs> right. Before I go, I'd like to say one good-ish thing, and it's the way the women were interacting with each other. They're all aware of each other and their shared feelings for Yoshida. And even though there's jealousy, they never try to undermine each other. In the episode where Goto meets Sayu, they actually have a good conversation. It's not like Goto was trying to get rid of Sayu because she's jealous or she didn't like her. In what she said, you got the impression that she truly cared and was just trying to help. And she was being more reasonable than other characters. However, all these kind women were around him. So why didn't they offer to help? A male user called Rebel Pondo wrote in his review, this anime been more self-aware, the only adult women could have given Sayu shelter or advice, rather than making them competitors for Yoshida. They repeatedly told him not to have sex with the teenager. If you're worried, why would you let her live there? Despite having reasonable doubt, everybody trusts Yoshida and does not intervene. Meanwhile, what he's doing is a crime. And I completely agree. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> Aside from that, there were some nice moments. I personally didn't completely hate watching it, but I just found <laughs> so many things that happen in this show <sighs> just bad. I don't like it when people preach bullshit. I think you can portray whatever you want, but you should leave it up to the audience to make up their mind about it, you know? But if a show is like in your face, look how good this is and oh, look how nice this person is and how blah, 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 you know? That's what I don't like. You can leave a few things open to interpretation, you know? Anyways, these were just some thoughts I had about this show. I know a lot of people love this, don't come for me. <laughs> As I said before, I like to focus more on horror, so I hope I can find some nice topics to talk about. One I already know, but this is gonna take a while. But yeah, that is it for this week, guys. Guys. But yeah, that is it for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have a different opinion than me, by all means, go and let's discuss. And yeah, I hope everybody has a great day and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.